Tonight's hero has a passion for helping people and keeping them safe. But if it hadn't been for an accident when he was a teenager, he might have taken an entirely different path. Here's Jeremy Shelton's story. Got my life safety educator, level one, two, and three, the first one I received in 2013. I got my level three in 2020. This thick binder is filled with Jeremy Shelton's certifications. And he's not just impressive on paper, he can also pilot a drone and drive a fire truck. I get to drive home a truck every day that's got lights and sirens on it that I can turn on and turn the woo-woos on. You know, everybody loves the woo-woos. Little kids love the woo-woos. However, the story of how Rockingham County's assistant fire marshal got into public safety is a little odd. It started when he was burning trash as a teenager, which is now against the law. My granddaddy's grapevine was on fire. The trash had blew up and set the grapevine on fire. So first thing I thought of was run up to the back of my granddad's house and grab his garden hose and run back down there and put the grapevine out. And I said, well, that was really cool. I think I'll be a fireman. A few years later, he started as a volunteer with the Wentworth Fire Department, where he's now a captain and training officer. But in his job with the county, his main focus is on fire prevention, education, and investigation. He teaches children the basics, even dressing up as Sparky the Fire Dog from time to time. He makes sure that businesses have their fire alarms and extinguishers where they're supposed to be, and he's a staunch advocate for the elderly, helping to secure funding for these deaf and hard of hearing alarms. It has a strobe light on top, as well as it has a bed shaker that goes in between the mattress and the box springs, and it works with any fire alarm that was manufactured after 1996. You think about most elderly people, they're on a fixed income, correct? That one fire alarm is $250. That's one of those things that if I can come out and put it in for free, they don't have to worry about it. It's not a choice they have to make. His boss, Rockingham County Fire Marshal Melissa Joyce, is also the person who nominated him for this award. Jeremy is just a helper of all people. Anything he can do to try to make their life a little bit easier for them is what his goal is. It's about helping your community. That so often gets lost. And as for winning this honor? I, I've always tried to be a humble person. I just I always tried to do what I felt was right. I'm truly excited for him that he's finally going to be seen for the person that he is. I'm one of those guys, if you call me up, Jeremy, I'm in a bind. The water's busted. I need some help. Hold up. I'll be over in a little bit. We get up and you put your clothes on and you go help them out. I mean, that's what it's about. Jeremy recently put together a local honor guard group for emergency responders in the county who have passed away.